Unlike in the actual city, where we killed a fuck ton of people. It's funny, this started out as a stealth playthrough. Now it would end up being a less murdery playthrough than it went to fuck it, this level is I will kill anyone who gets in my way. I disabled the wall of light and their security at least, so. Even though I don't need the wall of light, so I don't I don't know anymore. What was the wall of light for? Did I miss something? Alright. I need to eliminate Jindosh and find Anton Sokolov. Oh, neutral territory. I can just talk and just walk around. something like this and why Is watching me. Marvel at the clockwork soldiers hardened to metallic skeleton and razor sharp blades. The miniaturized whale oil tanks are spread across the frame and hidden behind protective amber wood panels. Visual awareness in the front and back. Auditory detection in case the head unit sustains catastrophic damage. My greatest creation. I invite you to continue, stranger. Just come up the stairs. Okay. This isn't going to be easy, is it? Now that I see you, I work out who you are. Not a hired cutthroat. Your clothes are too fine. An aristocratic thrill seeker? That's closer. You've trained with weapons formally, but you're not a salon fencer. There's a bit of back alley in your movement. All that, and you have your father's eyes, your imperial majesty. Welcome, Lady Emily Caldwin. Impressive, Jindosh. Then you must also know why I'm here. I'd assume my involvement with the Duke brought you to my door. Or maybe you're after washed-up Anton Sokolov, comfortably residing in the assessment chamber. Either way, come find me and take whatever it is you seek. But if you fall, I'll have your body carried to my lab for dissection and study. Until either comes to pass, your secret is safe with me. I'll see you soon, Jindosh. Until then. Clapwork soldiers, there's an interloper in my home. And Temperature me. back to normal. Waking up.
back indicate some detection without certainty. I have no idea if that's what you're supposed to do. Oh shit, he has actual Sounds like someone should we wait for clockwork? It'll wake up on its own if the fight breaks out. They're blind, but they can still hear. Creepy to know they might be listening to us. Can they understand what we're saying? No. No more than an audiograph machine. So now I gotta do that again. Hmm. What? The window. Maybe the wind or something. So I can go outside because there's a window open, obviously. I wish I had got another rewire tool. Stand clear. I'm bringing up the arc pylon. <laughs> They're taking naps together, that's all. Nothing wrong. <laughs> his her ass, his ass is in her face. When I think about it, your presence implies a great deal. It's very impressive that you survived Delilah and made it down here to Karnaka, all without the aid of your infamous father. Ah, the space behind the walls. Oh, so I just reconfigured another room. Um, nothing here. Can't read that. So oh, really that's how it works. So it's like he has sensors. There's just a lot of sensors. So this is how it works. So I need I needed to actually go in there.
Okay, so. Oh boy. Oh, so I could have snuck up behind him and taken him out. So he's the last guard here. Holy shit. That motherfucker just died. Like, he's actually dead. So, don't touch the floor. Okay. I got that now. Ow. Just hit my own self in the head. Will this kill me? See, there's one problem with the stealth approach.
All right, so let's save. They're not that hard. I remember the spring razors. Those were, those were, they were like, if you wanted to kill somebody in a trip mine form. So if you want to kill the clockwork things is, fuck it, shoot it. You out of here. What's up, Marvante? Marvante has bigger plans than you know. An army of his clockwork soldiers. It would be the end. I'm going to visit Jindosh too, old friend. <clears throat> so is he sick?
safest to take Sokolov back to the carriage before confronting Jindosh. All right, so uh, oh. you fuck you. Choke you out. Look, we haven't killed anybody this time. So, now the question is, how do we turn off the power? Power to that. That that's on the other floor. I'm surprised you're so passionate about regaining your throne. By all accounts, you were quite rubbish as an emperor. Now, okay. Get that thing out of here. So you powered down my arc pylon. How resourceful.
It's locked because the doors are open. Somehow I got out of that alive. Whoops! Fuck you, bitch! <laughs> okay, there we go. So after this, I can do whatever I want, though. I can, like, speed run straight through this and kill everyone. Well, kill the robots. I'm, not, I'm trying not to kill the people. We're going for minimum chaos, low chaos, not full chaos. We're not talking killing her. The people who died, they kind of deserved it. One of them tried to, a group of them, well, both groups tried to rob me. And, uh, and they killed me several times, and so I sniped them. Shot them, each, each of them got a bullet to the brain. Well, not a bullet, a bow, a bolt. So there's that. I mean, that wasn't my fault. I take no blame for that. That was all them. Okay. At least Anton is safe. Now, for Jindosh. I got grenades, motherfucker. Do I have to go and do knock all those people out again, or can I just straight through? Oh, also the other part, the one of the people that is going to be blamed on me, I didn't actually kill. Like one of the other soldiers killed him, just like in the last one. Blame me for that too. They like blaming me for shit. 